Math 5 Quarter 2 Week 8 Milk Base Let's learn about Equivalent Ratios Lesson 2 Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Math 5, we will discuss about equivalent ratios. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Identify and write equivalent ratios. A ratio is a relationship between two numbers or items, usually involving some kind of measurement. For example, when people drive, they travel at a certain speed. We usually refer to that speed as miles per hour. That is a ratio because it shows a relationship between distance and time. Study the pictures below. There are ratio that can be formed based on pictures. There are 8 frogs for every 10 chickens or 8 frogs to 10 chickens. In ratio, we write this as 8 is to 10. The lowest term of this ratio is 4 is to 5 or 4 frogs for every 5 chickens. You can write the given ratio in fraction form such as 8 to 10 or simply 4 to 5. Now, what is the relationship between the two ratios in the previous part? Let us reduce the ratios to lowest terms by dividing the both terms of each ratio by their GCFs. 8 frogs for every 10 chickens or 8 frogs to 10 chickens. The ratio is 8 is to 10. To reduce the ratios to lowest terms, divide the both terms. The GCF of both terms is 2. Now, divide the both terms. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Now, the quotient of each term is the lowest term. 4 is to 5. So, 4 is to 5 is equal to 8 is to 10. Inequality of ratios a to B equals C to D. A and D are called extremes, while B and C are the means, or we can write this using colon. A is to B equals C is to D. So A and D are called extremes. B and C are the means. In equal ratios, the product of the means 10 times 4 is equal to the product of the extremes, 8 times 5. Using the equal ratios above, we can see that the product of the means, which is 10 times 4 equals 40, is equal to the product of the extremes, 5 times 8 equals 40. Now, let us do learning task 1. Write equal in the circle if the given pair of ratios are equal and not equal if not, write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. 64 is to 12. Is it equal to 80 is to 15? Let's see the solution. First, multiply the extremes. 64 times 15 equals 960. Then multiply the means. 12 times 80 equals 960. So that means both ratios are equal. Number 2. The given ratios are 3 is to 7 and 24 is to 56. Let's see the solution. Multiply the extremes. 3 times 56 equals 168. Now multiply the means. 
7 times 24 equals 168. So that means the answer is equal. Number 3. 6 is to 7 and 75 is to 100. Let's see the solution. Multiply the extremes. 6 times 100 equals 600. And multiply the means. 7 times 75 equals 525. Are they equal or not? Very good! Both ratios are not equal. Number 4. 15 is to 12 and 35 is to 28. Multiply the extremes. 15 times 28 equals 420. And the means, 12 times 35 equals 420. So the correct answer is equal. Number 5. 14 is to 40 and 9 is to 24. Multiply the extremes. 14 times 24 equals 336. And 40 times 9 equals 360. So that means the correct answer is not equal. Number 6. 8 is to 12 and 10 is to 15. Multiply the extremes. 8 times 15 equals 120. And 12 times 10 equals 120. So the correct answer is equal. Both ratios are equal. Number 7. 16 is to 32 and 2 is to 6. Multiply the extremes. 16 times 6 equals 96. Multiply the means. 32 times 2 equals 64. So that means the correct answer is not equal. Number 8. 10 is to 13 and 20 is to 23. Multiply the extremes. 10 times 23 equals 230. And multiply the means. 13 times 20 equals 260. So that means the correct answer is not equal. Number 9. 15 is to 6 and 20 is to 8. Multiply the extremes. 15 times 8 equals 120. Multiply the means. 6 times 20 equals 120. So, that means the correct answer is equal. And number 10, 60 is to 100 and 9 is to 15. Multiply the extremes. 60 times 15 equals 900. And multiply the means. 100 times 9 equals 900. So, that means the correct answer is equal. Learning Task 2 Fill each box with the correct number that will make equivalent ratios. Write your answers in your notebook. So for number 1, to get the missing number, make a solution. First, multiply the means. 7 times 24 equals 168. Now, divide 168 by 56. 168 divided by 56 equals 3. So that means the missing number is 3. That is the correct answer. Why? Because when we multiply 3 times 56 equals 168. Both are equal. Number 2. Make a solution. First, multiply the extremes. 8 times 15 equals 120. Now divide 120 by 3. 120 divided by 3 equals 40. So the missing number is 40. That is the correct answer. Why? Because when we multiply the means, 3 times 40 is equal to 120. Number 3. Make a solution. First, multiply the extremes. 12 times 5 equals 60. And divide 60 by 15. 60 divided by 15 equals 4. So, the missing number is 4. That is the correct answer. Why? Because when we multiply the means, 4 times 15 is equals to 60. Number 4. Make a solution. First, multiply the extremes. 4 times 8 equals 32. And divide 32 by 16. 32 divided by 16 equals 2. So, the missing number is 2. That is the correct answer. 
because when we multiply 16 times 2 equals 32. Number 5. First multiply the extreme. 27 times 15 equals 405. Divide 405 by 9. 405 divided by 9 equals 45. The missing number is 45. And that is the correct answer. Because when we multiply 45 times 9 is equal to 405. Number 6. First multiply the extremes. 11 times 450 equals 4950. And divide 4950 by 330 equals 15. The missing number is 15. And that is the correct answer. Because when we multiply 15 times 330 equals 4950. Number 7. First, multiply the extremes. 35 times 8 equals 280. Now divide 280 by 20. 280 divided by 20 equals 14. And 14 is the missing number. So that is the correct answer. Because when we multiply 14 times 20 equals 280. Number 8. Multiply the extremes. 12 times 10 equals 120. Divide 120 by 15 equals 8. So 8 is the missing number. And that is the correct answer. Because when we multiply 15 times 8 equals 120. Number 9. Multiply the extremes. 5 times 18 equals 90. Divide 90 by 30. 90 divided by 30 equals 3. So the missing number is 3. And that is the correct answer. Because when we multiply the means, 3 times 30 is equals to 90. And number 10. First, multiply the means. 12 times 15 equals 180. Divide 180 by 20. 180 divided by 20 equals 9. 9 is the missing number and that is the correct answer. Multiply the extremes. 20 times 9 equals 180. So the ratios are equal. And for learning task 3, solve the given problems. Write your answers in your notebook. Number 1. Two numbers are in the ratio... 2 is to 3. If the bigger number is 6, what is the smaller number? First, write the solution. 2 is to 3 equal blank is to 6. To find the missing number, first, multiply the extreme. 2 times 6 equals 12. Now, divide 12 by 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So, the missing number is 4. That is the smaller number because when we multiply the means, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So they have equal ratios. Number 2. What number compared with 8 is the same as 6 compared with 24? Let's see the solution. Blank is to 8 equal 6 is to 24. To get the missing number, first multiply the means. 8 times 6 equals 48. Now, divide 48 by 24. 48 divided by 24 equals 2. So, the missing number is 2. 2 times 24 equals 48. Number 3. There are 18 red roses for every 6 blue roses. How many red roses are there if there are 3 blue roses? So, let us write the solution. 18 is to 6 equals blank is to 3. First, multiply the extremes. 18 times 3 equals 54. 54 divided by 6 equals 9. The missing number is 9. There are 9 red roses for every 3 blue roses. So, 6 times 9 equals 54. They are equal. Number 4. There are 7 children for every 2 adults in the plaza. How many adults are there if there are 21 children? Let's see the solution. 7 is to 2 equals 21 is to blank. First, multiply the means. 2 times 21 equals 42. Now, divide 42 by 7. 
42 divided by 7 equals 6. So the missing number is 6. That means there are 6 adults for every 21 children. 7 times 6 equals 42. And number 5, two numbers are in the ratio 3 to 5. If the difference is 12, what are the numbers? The correct answer is 18 is to 30. Let's see why is this the correct answer. So the given ratio is 3 to 5. First, get the GCF of 18 and 30. The GCF of 18 and 30 is 6. Now divide both terms. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. And 30 divided by 6 equals 5. So their quotient is the given ratio which is 3 to 5. So let's see if the difference is 12 by subtracting 30 minus 18. 30 minus 18 equals 12. So kids, do you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!